poverty in india has also declined after independence after independence but but the pace of a reduction is a very slow the pace of reduction of poverty in india is very slow is very slow as compared to the exist demand of existing economies demand of existing economies the speed the pace of reduction in poverty is very slow according to the world bank according to the world bank 35% india's population according to world bank 35% of india's total population living below poverty line below poverty line pay attention everybody if when we are talking about a world bank's definition in relation to the poverty world bank defines the poverty as a person which is spending 1 dollar in a day 1 dollar in a day on such behalf 35% population is there which can't complete their basic needs according to the world bank but if we follow as a definition given by the planning commission which states that 32 rupees a person which is spending the 32 rupees in a day living above poverty line above poverty line if we transform the if we convert the 1 dollar into as a rupees it will be as a 75 rupees as goshan said 75 rupees 75 means if we follow as india's definition in relation to the poverty in relation to the poverty then the two of the individuals it can be as a complete they can complete their basic necessities to the 1 dollar to 1 dollar so that's why at the beginning of a chapter i marked here as a 27 to 29% india's population as still living under poverty but according to the world bank according to world bank <coughs> india's 35% of a total population living below poverty line so what are the reasons responsible for the such kind of a poverty trends in india poverty trends still as prevailing in india afterwards as the longer tenure of the independence first as a illiteracy still the last section of a population is a illiterate illiterate illiteracy illiteracy second is a unemployment unemployment in which a person is a ready agree to work but not able to find a jobs because jobs are not there jobs are not there and what's a root cause responsible for the <coughs> deficiency of a job opportunities as a deficiency of job opportunities as a low industrial growth low industrial growth lack of capital deficiency of capital government not having as a funds to through which as they can invest the money in a industrial sector for a generation of a job opportunities less capital deficiency of deficiency of capital responsible for the unemployment in india unemployment in india clear second reason as the lack of the job opportunities first as the illiteracy lack of job opportunities <coughs> job opportunities third dependence on a land resource over dependence not as a dependence over dependence on a land resource over dependence on land resource land resource over dependence on land resource or we can say as a rural economy where the people are mostly as dependent on a agricultural fields people are dependent on agricultural fields responsible for the responsible for the still poverty trends in india <clears throat> poverty trends in india clear so second as the job opportunities third as the dependence on a land resource or rural economy due to as a dependence on a primary sector agriculture activities our economy is still as a developing if we if we increase a more share of a secondary sector then what will be happen our economy it will be becomes 
the developed economy in the next 50, 100 years. In next upcoming 50 or 100 years, India will become as a developed country if we start to increase more dependence on a manufacturing industries. Through industries, people, they are getting as a jobs and they can contribute in economy as they ascend person through which the per capita income will increase. Clear? Now the fourth, fourth heading, the fourth poverty trends in global level as a poverty in a sub-Sahara region. Poverty in a Sahara region. Poverty trends in Sahara region. Thus, the northern and the northwestern parts of Africa, northern and northwestern parts of Africa, which includes Algeria, which includes Algeria, Sudan, Libya, Algeria, Sudan, Sudan, S-U-D-A-N-A-L-G-E-R-I-A, -A -A. Algeria, Sudan, Niger, N-I-G-E-R, C-H-A-D, Chad, these are the African countries, Chad, Libya, Libya, etc., <laughs> Libya, etc., etc., the poverty in a the poverty in Sahara region, poverty in Sahara region increased, increased, increased from 41%, 41%, I'm again as repeating, the poverty in a Sahara region in Africa, poverty trends as a generally generally as a increasing in a Sahara region of Algeria, 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 Chad, Niger, Libya, Libya, Sudan, Sudan, etc., etc., the increase in Increase in poverty trends, increase in poverty trends, increase in poverty trends in such economies, such economies from 41 percent, 41 percent to 48 percent. 41 to 41 percentage to 48 percent, 48 percent, 48 percent due to, so what are the reasons responsible for this? The reasons responsible for the hike in our poverty tents in parts of Africa are first, First, famines, F-A-M-I-N-E-S. Famines are leads to the starvation. Famine is a situation in which the consistently rain has not occurred for more than the three years in, that, in a particular area, in any of a particular area of the world. That state is known as a famine. Under such conditions of a famine, Drought is a when a rain not occur in a one season or a year. But regularly, if a drought appears in a one locality, one particular area for more than three years, it will be known as a famine. Under such circumstances of famine, land loses its moisture. If the moisture is not present in a soil, how can a soil germinate the seeds? So that's why the, these areas are affected by food insecurity and starvation food insecurity, or we can see as a starvation, shortage of food in such areas. <laughs> so first, first, first as a food insecurity, that's why as a poverty is still prevailing in a such economies. Second, low, sorry, less number of industries, 
less industries are concentrated in this region less industries concentrated in this region third high growth rate of population 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 fourth fourth <coughs> internal internal and international disputes the, such economies they are having as the international disputes wars with the other nation wars with the other nations because of which their most number of uh, funds money capital has uh, it has basically consumed in a war fronts for a maintenance of their army that's why as uh, both the countries india and pakistan which declared independent on a same time but after 70 years india becomes as a developing country but the pakistan which is spending as more than 50 percentage of their assets for a growth of military for growth of military for military expenditure they are spending as their more than 50 percentage of a expenditure for military but in our country as a 27 percent it has investing over a military for on a defense forces on defense forces that's why now as india that money which pakistan wasted in a military it can be as a utilized for a increasing the pace of development india becomes the developing and pakistan is still as a underdeveloped clear so in these economies of a sub sahara region the sahara region are those where poverty trends increase since last 40 50 years next as a poverty in a south america poverty in south america poverty in south america poverty in south america the ratio of a poverty in south america the ratio of poverty in south america ratio of poverty in south america <laughs> south america has not changed has not changed in the last 3 decades in last 30 years of a tenure poverty trends are still not changed in a south american countries of peru p e r u child c h i l e argentina <coughs> argentina <coughs> argentina etc it's due to it's due to it's due to isolation from isolation from rest of the world isolation from rest of the world and control over population control over population control over population then last as a poverty in russia poverty in russia poverty trends in russia resurfaced resurfaced in some of the former socialist countries former socialist countries former socialist those countries which were obtained from the ussr union of soviet and socialist republican countries from which when it disintegrated after the 1950s after the second world war to which as a kazakhstan tajikistan russia such countries were separated from the ussr so the poverty trends has resurfaced resurfaced in some of the former socialist countries like russia where officially it was officially it was non existent earlier non existent earlier non existent earlier 
free from poverty free from poverty the reason behind the low poverty trends low poverty trends in russia reasons responsible for the low poverty trends in russia in russia reasons responsible for the low poverty trends in russia due to large surface area large surface area comma availability of natural resources availability of natural resources availability of natural resources and low population growth low population growth resources are the abundant resources natural resources are abundant but as a compared to this as a human resource population is a lesser population is a lesser means the more possibilities are there through which the natural resources it can be as utilized by the more growth of population but still the growth rate of population of a country is a lesser so there is the possibilities are there through which as a, if the number of people it can be as increase in a future after 40 50 years in parts of russia but such population it can be easily utilized for a growth of economy still the russia is one of the developed developed economies of a world developed economies of world clear these were the global poverty trends now the last topic of a chapter as a vulnerable groups which groups are considered as the vulnerable highly affected by the poverty in india there are two sections are there two sections are there which are considered as vulnerable groups these groups are the socially backward sections and economically backward sections vulnerable groups of poverty vulnerable groups are two socially backward socially backward and economically poorers economically poorers economically poor groups socially backward in the sense those sections of poverty and occupation both are correlated most of the poor people include poor people include agricultural and the casual laborers agricultural and casual laborers according to the estimates according to the estimates of planning commission agricultural laborers agricultural laborers agricultural laborers constitute 25% 25% agricultural laborers constitutes 25% of the total household total household poorers total household poorers the casual workers servants casual workers servants casual workers servants and beggars constitutes the 57.60 percentage of 57.60 percentage of total total people under poverty under poverty in these in these states where agricultural laborers form a great share great share of poverty great share of poverty in our country the social groups which are most vulnerable most vulnerable 
टू पॉवर्टी आर शेड्यूल्ड कास्ट शेड्यूल्ड कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल्ड ट्राइब्स शेड्यूल्ड ट्राइब्स शेड्यूल्ड कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल्ड ट्राइब्स विच वर डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड विच वर डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट डिफरेंसेस कास्ट डिफरेंसेस इन इकोनॉमी यू आर फेमिलियर विद सच कास्ट दीज आर दो सेक्शन ऑफ अ पॉपुलेशन और दो सेक्शन ऑफ अ सोसाइटी विच वर डिवाइडेड ड्यूरिंग एज अ वैदिक एज इन वैदिक एज इंडियन सोसाइटी डिवाइडेड अमंग द फोर वर्णास वर्ण सच वर्ण ग्रुप्स which were divided on a basis of occupations brahmin kshatriyas vaishyas shudras so the schedules <clears throat> castes and scheduled tribes highly discriminated in society on the basis of a caste differences caste differences apart from the these social groups <clears throat> apart from these social groups there are some group of people face inequality 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 of income within a family inequality of income within a family which include women especially the such women which are housewives which are dependent on their husbands for the completion of their needs women children below 15 years children below sorry 14 years children below 14 years and elders and elders <clears throat> elderly people elderly people apart from this some economic groups are still vulnerable which are affected under the poverty are casual workers first casual workers <coughs> casual workers in cities agricultural laborers agricultural laborers agricultural laborers which are getting the jobs in a particular months of the year we learned about it as a seasonal unemployment agricultural laborers beggars <coughs> beggars beggars next rickshaw pullers rickshaw pullers vegetable vendors vegetable vendors are highly affected as under poverty highly affected by poverty in india highly affected poverty in india highly affected one more mentally retarded those which are the mentally retarded they are also economically economically poor mentally retarded which can't can't switch with production of goods and services they can't contribute in economy with production of goods and services they became as the liabilities liabilities 25% as the laborers the agricultural laborers and 57.60 as the other servants domestic servants big beggars they are constitutes as a 57.6 57.6% from total population under the poverty such ratio is out of the those which are 29% in a total population of our country out of which the 29% 25% of poorers are categorized from the casual workers casual workers domestic servants beggars are categorized as a 57.6 they constitutes the total poorest population of india 
poorest population of india which are not having the regular source of income these are highly affected under the poverty <coughs> affected <coughs> by poverty in india due to as a such conditions the conditions of our economy <coughs> where adequate supply of services are not as compared to the demand by population demand by population demand by population which make possibilities for it make possibilities for it make possibilities for economic exploitation economic exploitation kapoorthala chowk on its right side laborers every day they are waited for the employers employers moving towards a such place they are hiring the workers for their work as per the necessity they are bargaining in relation to their hiring when they are hired the workers for their work any kind of a work cleaning sweeping construction any of the work they are hiring the workers and they do as a bargaining of their salaries this is as a economic exploitation in which the more number of the working hours took from a individual as their services and paid the under value or a less income to them to pay less income to them as per their as per their services so more economic exploitation more economic exploitation has occurred in a such category of a economically poorer sections of society sections of society but as compared to this the socially backward sections their standard for protection of a such sections in a society from inequality from discrimination in constitution there is as a provision of the reservation reservation to procure their rights in society procure their rights in society <clears throat> question number 1 describe how the poverty line is estimated in india in our country poverty line is estimated through the two methods income method income method and expenditure method you have to explain these two in a first two a first question expenditure method a total expenditure spent by the individual for completion of their basic needs means first of first of all check that the number of items used by the that individual in their daily life second calculate their caloric value third total expenditure money spending for a purchasing of a such goods fourth thing total value of a total money which is spending for a availing the services as a shelter water electricity and fifth one as a total value total money which is spending on a clothing items food shelter clothing their totality to which we can estimate as a poverty line second as a income method to which the minimum minimum caloric consumption minimum caloric consumption as used for a minimum caloric consumption used by the individual for which as a total income required 324 in a rural and 328 in a rural and 424 in a urban areas second question is a uh, what do you think that present methodology of poverty estimation is appropriate no present methodology of a uh, estimation of poverty is not appropriate the reason is that the uh, most number of economies presently the poverty trends are checked on a basis of a per capita income but all all the countries of economy per capita income is unevenly distributed due to the natural resources different natural resources are unevenly distributed over the earth which is responsible for a uneven distribution of a uneven distribution of a per capita income clear per capita income next per capita income third describe as a poverty trends in india since 1973 poverty trends poverty trends in india since 1973 as a reducing as reducing the poverty trends 
prosperous states which has includes as a punjab haryana punjab haryana karnataka they are considered as the most prosperous states in relation to the growth in economy high per capita income due to the more availability of a jobs to the workers in punjab and haryana a maximum majority of people are dependent on agriculture whereas in karnataka people they are dependent upon a industries it based industries which are concentrated in a adjoining parts of a hyderabad and bangalore that's why we will discuss on a later